Okay, welcome to video two uh, in the Pixlr Lasso Free Select um, lesson. Okay, so today what we're going to do is we're going to uh, we're con going to continue with this canvas. But if you see over here in my history tab, I'm going to scroll all the way up to where it says new image, and I'm going to click on new image. That just resets our canvas. Okay, so we were here, and I scrolled up. In my history tab, I clicked on new image. That's going to reset our uh, canvas. So I've already done a search over here for Apple, but let's do it again together. Okay. What's wonderful is that this image is not too big, it's not too small. Uh, actually, it probably is too small. So if we click on our triangle, let's make it just a little bit bigger. Okay. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom in to show you what I'm gonna about to do. Okay. In this image, uh, you might come across a need for this when you have an image with a background such as this, but you really only want a portion of it. So for us. We just want this one apple right here. We don't want anything else behind it. Not that there's anything wrong with that photo. We just want to use this one apple for something else. So well, what we can do is first, let's make sure that we're on the right layer. And this is this has a nonsensical name. Let's rename it Apple, okay? That way we know what we're working with. So if we have the apple layer selected, we go to our Lasso free select tool. This will allow us to trace the outline of our apple to select it. Now, if you mess up, oh man, Mr. Nicole, you messed up. As soon as you let go, it selects it. Fortunately, we can always hit edit, undo. It's always okay to undo something uh, if you mess up. So let's go in a little bit closer. And we have to click and drag. You can't let go of the selection. Click and drag. It's not a it's not a click and a let go. You have to click and drag. I hope that uh, that me saying click and drag really sticks in your mind because if you don't click and drag, this will not work. Now, if you notice, I got a little bit of extra stuff down there at the bottom, and that's okay because we can erase that later on. Now you gotta make sure that you connect it back and voila. Now, if we go to edit cut, we can tell that our selection was good because uh, what we wanted is now gone. Edit undo, edit undo. Okay, so if you notice, in, uh, if we are trying to get rid of the background, we actually have the opposite selected of what we want. So if I was to try and erase the background, I wouldn't be able to because I have just this one apple selected. So I've told the computer, hey, we're only going to work in this small circle that I made unless we go select invert selection. That's something we've talked about already with uh, the border video. So when we click on the invert selection or control I, that'll change our selection from we used to be inside the apple. We aren't there anymore. Now we're out here. So I can try and erase the apple and it won't work. Now I could erase the whole thing, but that would take a long time and I might not do a good job of it. What I could do instead is edit, cut, and now we'll get rid of everything that we want. So again, here we were, edit, cut. And just like that, we're left with just the apple. Now, like I said earlier, I didn't get all of this stuff down here, but with my eraser tool, I can be really careful and erase this apple. Why, why isn't this working? There we go. So if you notice, oh, sometimes you're gonna make mistakes. Um, you might have to click select all for this to work just in case that's not working for you. So select all, and then we can erase just the outside. But if you make a mistake, oh darn, 
edit, undo. Mistakes are okay, because we have the ability to undo them. And just like that, I've gotten rid of the part that I don't want, and we're left with just the apple. All right, now, uh, once you have done this with the apple, we're not really gonna use the apple for anything specific, but you would be able to do this uh, with anything, whether it be with a phone in someone's hand, whether it be with uh, a tennis racket, or, or any, really anything. The lasso tool is wonderful for really specific cuts, okay? Uh, with, uh, with that being said, uh, this you, you finished the lasso tool uh, lesson video, and you can move on to what's next. Good job.